Terrifying ride to school for some students in Dartmouth when a deer hit their school bus. Police say a car hit the deer on Chase Road, launching the animal at the bus and through the windshield. Iowa News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to a student and police. She has the details on these terrifying moments live from Dartmouth. Brittany. Mike Kim, today I spoke to 13 year old Zachary Lake, who was sitting in the middle of the bus. In the blink of an eye, he says a deer went head first through the windshield. This is what the bus looked like immediately after the crash. A large hole in the windshield. Dartmouth police say the bus driver and four children suffered minor injuries. With his mom's permission, 13 year old Zachary Lake, who was on the bus, tells me glass shot everywhere. I had my backpack like on my lap like that, so I didn't go flying for it or anything. But there was like tons and tons of glass in my bag and everything like all of my hood and in my hair. Police tell me another car hit the deer and launched it towards the bus. 1317, make your way to 494 Chase Road. We have a traveling bus with a deer through the windshield. The accident happened on Chase Road just after 7 this morning. Tuesday afternoon, we heard from Tremblay Bus Company. They identified the bus driver as Mark Jardin and that he suffered a significant hand injury. It was, you know, a chaotic scene, obviously, with anything like that. It's going to be a traumatic event for the children as well as the school bus driver. Lake says his fellow classmates were all checked by paramedics on scene. They just said if um, you are hurt or anything, like do you feel any pain? Um, they said just walk to the ambulance if you do. Um, those four people that were injured did. I, mean, I just had like minor neck pain. Lake and his mother are now crediting Jardin for acting calm and putting the children first in this chaotic situation. Mark is amazing. He's always got their safety first. He was just calm and he was telling the kids it's okay, get out of the bus. That driver, Mark Jardin, released a statement saying, my first thought was to get the children off the bus into a safe place. He says he is grateful no one was seriously injured. New at 6, we hear from a man who heard the crash and ran over to help. Live in Dartmouth, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News. But first tonight, new details on this morning's crash in Dartmouth that sent a deer through the windshield of a school bus. New at 6, we're hearing from the driver of that bus. He says he saw the deer running out of the woods, then saw another car hit the animal. The deer went airborne and then came through my windshield onto my lap. And then I was wrestling with the deer, trying to get it off of me and trying to secure the bus and trying to make sure the kids were okay. And the driver suffered injuries to his hand, but says he's thankful none of the children were hurt. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live from Dartmouth with what she's learned. Brittany? Mike, Kim, the accident happened on Chase Road here behind me. Late this afternoon, the bus company released that the deer landed on the bus driver's lap, causing serious injuries to his hand. Eyewitness News capturing these images of the bus after the crash. A large hole in the driver's side of the windshield. New tonight, we've learned the bus driver is Mark Jardin. He and four children were injured. Luke Jelinas lives on Chase Road and says he heard the crash and rushed over to help. So I just heard a loud bang. Um, and, and brake squealing to a stop. I looked up and it was a school bus, so my heart dropped, of course. Oh, the windshield was completely um, decimated. I didn't know what had caused it until I went around. The bus driver opened the door and I saw that a deer had come completely through the window and landed on the driver's side. Jelina says before he could offer help, the bus driver had already sprung into action. He was already radio radioing for help um, and making sure the kids were okay. So he really kept his cool and did a great job keeping the kids safe. Eighth grader Zachary Lake was on the bus during the accident. We spoke to him with his mom's permission. He's now calling Jordan a how. hero. Like he didn't have a red face. He didn't say ow. I hope Mark's feeling good. He's such a nice bus driver. And Lake tells me he had minor neck pain and all of the students were checked by paramedics on scene. Live in Dartmouth, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.